This is completely different animal. Make technocratic great again. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sandra and this is Technocratic, where I comment on the latest technology news. If you happen to like that type of content, make sure to subscribe down below. I'm releasing videos every week, so stick around. Today I am going to take you on an exciting journey and we are going to test product demos built on the top of GPT-3 algorithm. So far, I have done a couple of videos about different use cases of GPT-3, different demos. You can check them out here. And I received awesome feedback from you guys saying that it would be great if I could do something of a live demo where I test products based on GPT-3 myself and see how they come across, whether they are actually that awesome, whether they have any downside. So I went on with the suggestion, I took on the challenge, and today I am going to test three different products built on the top of GPT-3 API. So let's get going. I'm super excited for this one. It's a very special episode for me. So the first one is Dover.ai. This is a recruitment platform that created one of the tools based on GPT-3. This tool is free and accessible online. You can go there by using the link that I provide in the description box below. As you can see, Dover here warns that some of the outputs will be unique and might be weird, might make no sense perhaps. This job opening will be for video editor for Technocratic channel. It's a fake one. I wanted to create something simple that will show us how good of an edit Dover can make based on your very simple text. So I'm going to use an exemplary email. Well, I just specified that this is a video editor position and define technocratic in very simple words. And then mentioned that ideal candidates should have excellent creative portfolio, be a team player and help us create videos on YouTube. I also mentioned two very popular video editing tools and let's see what GPT-3 can generate. I really hope it can generate something more exciting and more elaborate than this. <laughs> Okay, here we go. What is this? We need a few more forks to join our awesome team, People's Republic of Blabbermouth. You get to talk about what's going on in tech and edit the video together into a nice, neat package. I'm not sure what is the purpose of this initial title, but let's ignore it for the time being. We are looking for a video editor that is just editing videos, not creating them or not talking about tech. Qualifications, shoots and edits video. Has at least one year's experience doing this. Loves tech. Can write in short, easy to read paragraphs. What I like is that it added a little bit of more life to it. We expect the candidate to be actually interested in tech. I haven't thought of that. This is good. Well, other things. Years experience, awesome. Definitely you need some experience to create a good portfolio. Location, California stun. Salary, up to you. Sorry, am I being too forward here? <laughs> what is this? Maybe that was supposed to be a joke. Overall, when it comes to the length, it didn't change much. GPT-3 added some flavor to the example that I provided. To be fair, I'm not entirely convinced that this job description would do its job, so it would cover all the points that I needed. But I would definitely use some of the passages there and add it to the existing one. For example, the love of tech and maybe some jokes here and there. As Dover informs, each output here will be unique. Let's generate another output based on the same job opening and let's see how that turns out. This is completely different animal. Make technocratic great again. This one is definitely much longer, as you can see from the first look of it. Since 2011, Technocratic has been providing tech lovers with unique feel-good videos for the people written by the people. When we hit 100,000 subscribers, it was clear that we were onto something much bigger than we had expected when we had just founded the channel. Hopefully this is a prophecy. Being true to our passion for technology, great software and amazing AI products, we decided to inject some AI into Technocratic as well. Interesting. So it actually takes the description of the channel and takes it further, talks more about the channel itself, its history, its background. 
In 2015, we had a team of three content creators writing awesome content for the channel. We decided to double down on our commitment to our audience, but we also wanted to invest in channel's growth. I love this paragraph. However, these are GPT-3 generated facts that don't exist. I like the story. I like that it added more flavor to the situation to encourage somebody to commit to the channel. Although I can tell you upfront that my job opening would definitely not be that long. We chose to follow our instinct and to create a series of videos around the artificial intelligence technologies we thought would be exciting to the audience. So this is exactly what happened in my case. I think it's super cute that it was able to come up with that, although it's not a rocket science, of course. Since then, the content has taken off to reach an average of 1 million views per video. Would love that to happen. <laughs> Most recently, we partnered with the experts from Google Cloud Platform to create outstanding AI ML video content, da 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 da. It generated a background story that sounds really nice, background success story of the channel. I think it's a great idea to use the success stories in order to promote the job itself. However, I think it's a little bit too much, plus the information is not accurate, so I will not be able to use substantial part of it. However, it sounds great and I'm quite impressed. I would love my channel to go that path. We are proud of what we've built so far and now we are looking for you to join Technocratic's family. Help us grow and write the AI machine learning technologies chapter of Technocratic. I like it very much. Responsibilities. We're looking for contributors who can create videos in the English language, preferably after a few simple edits. Since we have a lot of material to cover, we need you to focus on creating three, four videos per month. You will have access to our writing guidelines and support for editing. You will also have feedback on your work from the internal team. Gosh, it would be awesome to have a team that is working on a couple of videos simultaneously. It would be massive. We love contributors who can write as part of other teams to provide marketing articles, blog content, and video reviews. This is actually much more elaborate again. I would definitely use some parts of it. Requirements. We're looking for passionate AI machine learning experts who can think on their feet. As you can see, GPT-3 did not finish this sentence and also just started the next one with we <laughs> and nothing follows. So it's an interesting place to stop. In that case, it means that it doesn't have exactly good understanding of where we start, where we finish. Although I can say that I am guilty of it myself by using video editor just like that. Again, there are passages that I could use. This is much more elaborate and I think I like this version much more. However, it did not cover certain things that I really cared about, like the usage of the tools that say are industry standard, but maybe I'm just being boring and it doesn't really matter. Probably, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually going to save this one and perhaps use it in the future. Honestly, I like it just for the fact of this success story. <laughs> okay, let's try another one. Oh, this is interesting introduction. A player spoiled for choice. What? What would that mean? <laughs> I would like to know. No idea, really. Do you watch YouTube videos? Yeah, like practically everyone else in the developed world, so do we. Do you think two videos of not too funny guys arguing about tools looks familiar? Uh, yeah. I don't know how the first paragraph refers to the second. That's a puzzle for me. I don't think there is a, any particular connection. I also don't understand this break that happened between them. Although I like the question at the beginning, it definitely improves dynamics of the job description. There's more energy to it and there is much stronger voice that you can hear. Or to be another boring TV show. Although I'm puzzled, I don't understand exactly like what's the message here still. So. What we want is someone who makes the kind of videos that you find worth watching. That is someone who gives value from scratch. Uh, right. Okay, that makes sense. But I need more <laughs> in order to make it look good. Everyone has a view, but ours is different, as you'll see below. Yes. Unfortunately, we cannot see below. There is nothing below that kind of ended here. I am puzzled. Nice try though. I definitely like the energy here and I definitely like the personality of this particular example. Well, it's more direct, it's more human, definitely. It would stand out in front of other ads, but without curation, you couldn't leave it like this. Yes, weird, but a good try. Okay, I think I'm done with Dover. To sum up, it was fun to test it out. I do encourage you to go to the website and test it yourself. This way you get direct contact with GPT-3, which is absolutely awesome. Yeah, I think I'm gonna actually use Dover. I would definitely use it for brainstorming for creating another job ad if I were to create one. Overall, I'm happy, although 
as you could see, it's impossible to use it and not curate it afterwards. You basically need to read every single sentence and check for potential mistakes, for misinformation, for stories that don't exist or for presented facts that don't match the reality <laughs> and for sentences that kind of end on one word and that's it. Yes. Okay, next. Please leave a like if you liked the video and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for sticking around and see you next time. Bye guys.